Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now this video, I'm going to show you how to solve quadratic sequence. For example, this is obviously a quadratic sequence, a quadratic equation because the highest number is 2, so therefore you say it is quadratic sequence and previously you also learned how to solve this quadratic sequence. But this video is not about solving quadratic sequence. This video I'm going to show you how do you get this sequence term. Then how and why is it that you have 2a is equivalent to second difference and then 3a plus b is second term minus first term and a plus b plus c is actually first term. I'll show you how to get this shortcut. Let's get started. Start off with this proof. Let me use this term equation, this quadratic term equation of n squared minus 2n plus 3. Now, all the first five terms in the sequence is as following. Say this is my term 1, this is a term 1, this is term 2. So I substitute n is 1 into this equation, therefore it will become 1 minus 2 plus 3. So this one here would be 2 plus 3, which is 2. So my first number, first term number is 2. And then from here to here, the difference is say, oh, this is plus 1. Then is it the same? T2 minus T1 is 1. T3, T3 minus T2 is 3. So it's plus 3. Oh, it's not the same. This number to this number is plus 2. This number to this number is plus 2. This number to this number is plus 2. The second difference is the same. Therefore, this series are said to be a quadratic sequence. This is first difference. It's not the same. There's no common difference. But this is the second difference. Second row of difference. If they are the same, therefore, I know that this sequence is a quadratic sequence. Yeah? Having that in mind, I have no idea about this. If I do not know about this equation, you were given only this number. All you need to do is find out the differences. Are they the same? First level is not the same, and the second level is the same, then I know, oh, therefore, I know now this is a quadratic. So then I know now, oh, it's a quadratic sequence. So if it's a quadratic sequence, you should be able to use this equation to solve it. Let me show you how quickly. Start with, you may think of Quadratic sequence Tn is actually equal to An squared plus Bn plus C. Right? So n is the n term. A, B, C, they are all unknown that you need to look for it by using this shortcut key. Right? So how do I do it? First, 2a. 2a is actually equal to second difference. My second difference is actually 2. So it's actually 2. Then 3a plus b is equal to second term minus first term, which is 1. And then a plus b plus c is actually equal to my first term. This is the number. So it happens to be 2. So therefore, a will be equal to 1. See? 2a equals 2, so a equals 1. So now, 3 times 1 plus b equals to 1. So therefore, my b will be equal to 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Right? Let me scroll down this page. And then, if I substitute into this equation of a, b, and c, so 1... 1 
plus minus 2 plus c equals to 2. So therefore, I know my c is 3. We're able to derive that my tn now is actually equals to a is 1, so it is n squared, n squared minus 2n, because b is minus 2n, and then plus 3, which is the answer. Which is the answer. That's yes. why with this method, you may pause it, because the following video, I'm going to show you how to actually derive it. How do you get this number? Started with the proof. How do I get this shortcut? Now, to start off with, I know that the sequence is a quadratic sequence. Right? So if I know this is a quadratic sequence, and then first term, my first term is going to be a plus b plus c, first term. This is my first term. Then my second term is going to be 2, 2 is 4, 4a plus 2b plus c. This is my second term, right? Without using the numbers. I think fourth term is good enough. You need to have so many to work with. Then the thing, all I need to find out is the t2 minus t1. So in order to go from here to here, what's their difference? So I use t2 minus t1 will be equal to 4a minus a, 3a. 2b minus b become b. C and C will be gone. And then T3 minus T2, the next term minus the previous term, 9 minus 5, uh, minus 4 is 5A, 3A minus 2, uh, 3B minus 2B is B, C and C will be gone. gone. Then obviously this is not common difference because this is 7a, 5a, and 3b is different. It's not the common difference, right? Then again, let's work here to here. The difference between this number and that number, 5a minus 3a is 2a. B and b will be gone. And 5, 7a minus 5a is 2a. So yes, 2a. Obviously, this is the same number. This is the second row, have the second common difference. Second common difference. This is the second common difference. So you can actually start on with that. So what do you need? So you can actually start with 2a is the second common difference. Is this? And then we have. 3a plus b. So I have 3a plus b. Now 3a plus b is what? 3a plus b is actually second term minus first term. So it's second term minus first term. And lastly, a, b, c is actually term 1. I'm doing it. Okay, you always refer to this. The first time watching the video, appreciate the thumbs up. Press the bell button, subscribe to my channel if you're first time watching my video. Press on the bell button so that you get notified of my new video. It's free, don't worry. And lastly, appreciate a thumbs up. That's all from me. Stay tuned for my next video. Bye bye.